Hey, hope all is well. My name is Jamie Fenn, and today we're gonna talk about how to process vocals for your videos. Now, just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a musical educational background on me, I attended a school called Icon Collective based in LA here in the United States. There have been a bunch of artists that have come out of that school, and maybe you guys have heard some of their songs or even seen them at shows, but I'm gonna teach you what I learned at that school, and hopefully that will improve your voiceovers for your videos. So let's open up DaVinci Resolve, click on that Fairlight tab, and get started. So the first thing I like to do is come into the Edit tab and right-click on the audio that I want to normalize. Click on Normalize Audio Levels. I select the True Peak at negative 2, which will bring it up or down to negative 2. Then I click on the Fairlight tab. So I'm on audio channel four with this voice. So I'm going to come over here to the number four. And the first thing I'm going to do is add the effect. It's a fair light effect. And I'm going to come down to the de-esser. And this will help reduce the high frequencies like S and SH. When recording a voiceover, make sure to have the best audio. The default settings work really well. I know the S's when I speak are around 7,000 or 7.3,000. The next thing I'm going to do is add an EQ. So I'm going to come back to the Fairlight Effects, click on this plus sign, and come down all the way to the bottom and click on Vocal Channel. We're only going to use the EQ part of this. So I'm going to click on the High Pass, which essentially takes out all the low end. If you are a female, you can probably bring this up a little higher. But for my voice specifically, I like to go down to about 100. Anything underneath 100 is going to be bass frequencies that are just not necessary, and it will make your voice not sound clear. Video as possible before. So, without it, when recording a voiceover, make sure to have the best with it to audio as possible before you. It just kind of takes out all that low end. Next, what I like to do is take this middle uh, bell, I guess you could say. And I'm going to change the equalizer type to more of like a sharp shape. So I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to just basically swipe back and forth here and listen and see what frequencies just don't sound good with my voice. Start processing it. That means get the best microphone you can afford and talk into the yellow on your meters when recording with the microphone. So right about at 295, 280 sound kind of harsh. So I'm going to bring this down. I'm only going to bring it down to between negative 3 and negative 6 dB. I want to kind of just remove those specific frequencies. Next is the high end. You can either turn this up a little bit if you want to kind of get some uh, more clarity towards the high end, but I kind of just leave this as is because I can EQ later down the vocal chain. So let's exit out of this. Next, I want to come back down here and we're going to add another effect, which is also a stock plugin and that is the multi-band compressor. And this will just kind of compress all the hard transients that the vocal produces. When recording a voiceover, make sure to have the best audio as possible before you start processing it. So I kind of leave this at default. It works really well with these default settings. So let's just exit out of this and move on to the next thing. I'm gonna come over here to the channel that we're working under. I'm gonna scroll down to where it says dynamics. Double click on dynamics. And the next thing is the gate. Now the gate essentially just basically makes the signal super quiet when no one is talking. So there's no air in the background or any noises that you may have around you. It's just your voice will be coming through. Voice over, make sure to have the best audio as possible before you start processing it. When I stop, it basically just cuts off the channel. I leave this also a default setting. Sometimes I bring it down to about negative 40, maybe negative 38. Next, we are going to click on the compressor. And I'm gonna turn the ratio up to about four. I like four for my vocals. And I'm gonna bring the threshold down until this middle meter right here will show about negative three in gain reduction. That means get the best microphone you can afford and talk into the yellow on your meters when recording with them. And that works well, right about there. I'm gonna leave the attack and the release pretty much default. I may bring up the attack just to about three milliseconds. That means any hard transients that come in first with your voice will kind of peek through rather than being compressed instantaneously. The last thing in the whole vocal chain is going to be this limiter. Now what I like to do is I basically, if you look over here on the left with the graph, 
you can see when the limiter is kind of touching the top of the compressor. I kind of just go for a little bit of gain reduction with the limiter, just a tiny amount. So you'll see here that you just basically crank this down until you see a little bit on this third meter here. When recording a voiceover, make sure to have the best audio as and that works really well. And to bring the overall volume up of the vocal, we want to bring up the makeup gain. So I like to bring this up to about negative five, maybe even negative three, because a lot of my videos have my voice as the primary focus of my audio. So I will bring that up. If you bring it up too far, you'll see it kind of turns red. You don't want to do that because that's clipping. So just kind of keep it around I don't know, negative five. And this is what it sounds like. When recording a voiceover, make sure to have the best audio as possible before you start processing it. That means get the best microphone you can afford and talk into the yellow on your meters when recording with the microphone. If you want to do a, just a few more tweaks, you can actually double click on the EQ here and this will come up. And what I like to do is get rid of all the high end, which is about 15,000 and above. And maybe even take out a little bit more mid just because after we've done some compression, sometimes it'll bring up those lows again. And one last thing, I just want to make sure that everybody has this. Um, sometimes a vocal will come in on the left or right channel. So make sure you come down to your pan, double click on it, and turn it off. That way your voice will be mono in the mix, in the stereo field, and everything will balance out correctly. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Comment below, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Thanks.